Bet this is some of Breen's work. Keep your hands in the clear. You win that bet, Redhead, but you lose the diamond. Grab it, boys. All right, Redhead. Hand them over. You're a smart hombre, aren't you? Tie them up while I get those diamonds. Stay where you are, miss. And don't move. Green, the double crossing rider's got the diamonds and has beaten it. Well, he ain't gonna get away with it if I can help it. Come on! You heard what they said, Marie. Hurry up and tie me. He'll probably hide the diamonds someplace this side the border. I hate a crook. I don't understand the diamonds. Where did they come from? Marie, tell your father. I'm going after Breen. Now tell me all about it. Heading for the ranch, all right. Probably going to pick up the money he's got cash there and then beat it and leave us in a lurch. Well, sitting here ain't going to stop him. Pilot, you and Johnny come with me. Breen's double-crossed his gang. we got to get to him before they do. Or it's goodbye, Diamond. Come on. Whoops. Wait a minute. You must be getting dumb. Forgot Kelsey took my six-shooter. You better ride back and get one. Maxwell might have an extra one at that. Come on. As soon as the boys get back, I'm going to ride into Sycamora and have a talk with the sheriff about Breen. But, Daddy, Breen might tell about the diamonds being smuggled and implicate you. You're right. To protect myself, I've got to protect those low-down sneak thieves. It's a bad business I've got into. Wait for me here, boys. Marie! Yes. Will you ask your father to loan me his gun? Kelsey got away with mine. Surely. Father? Yes? Fred wants to borrow your gun. Oh, all right. There you are. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. Sure made a mess of your garden here. Holy gee, where's the diamond? Gee. Breen didn't get them after all. Boys, the party's over. I found the diamond. Well, if you didn't get the diamond, who did? I tell you, I don't know. You lie, Breen. Where did you ditch them? I'm not lying. If I knew where they were, I'd tell you. Well, if you didn't get the diamonds, why did you sneak away and try to leave us? Tell me that. I didn't sneak away. I was looking for the bag, and I saw the Maxwell punchers riding in. I called a warning and went for my horse and... Left us trapped in the house. I called a warning, I tell you. We're losing time with him. Let's take him to the ranch. What for? For Joe Porter. Joe knows a lot of ways to make sneaking rats like him talk. Listen, you can't do this to me. Oh, no? You and who else is going to stop us? Come on. Man. Now, listen, we're, I tell you, I don't know what Never you're going to bother. I don't know. Listen, I, I, I tell you. I... Want to see your girl, Johnny? I ain't got no girl. What, you don't mean to tell me you're going sour on women? No. It's the other way around. What can a $40 a month cow hand offer a girl? Well, money don't mean everything. To a girl, if she's in love. Yeah. She's not in love with me. How do you know? Ever ask her? Gosh, no. 
I wish I had the nerve. If I was you, I'd go ask her. Honest, I would. She's up on the porch now. Why don't you go have it over with? All right, I'll do her. Oh, gee, Red. I can't. Oh, don't back out now. What, are you getting chicken-hearted? Say, Red, I've got an idea. You go ask her for me. Who, me? Sure. I'd do as much for you. Hey, listen, we've been pals a long time. See that swing over there? Yeah, I see it. You go plunk yourself down on that swing where you can hear everything. The right moment you pop up, huh? Sure. Good morning, Miss Burton. Oh, how do you do, Red? Fine day we're having. Isn't it lovely, Miss Norton? No, we don't get days up north like this. Oh, that so? Uh, something about this country down here and the weather that sort of gets under your skin. Well, Miss Marie, I, I have something to tell you. Yes, Red, what is it? Well, there's a, there's a man down here that has a great regard for you. In fact, he thinks you're the loveliest little woman in the world. And there's a girl on this ranch who feels just the same way about this man. And this, uh, this man, he, he wants to marry. I understand, Red. I love you, too. Have loved you from the first time I met you. But wait a minute, it's, it's, uh, well, Johnny, he, Johnny? Oh, I like Johnny, but I don't. Why don't you speak for yourself? Oh, Maria, I heard what? I've been thinking this diamond situation over, and I've come to the conclusion we should turn them over to Sheriff Campbell. What do you think? I think it'd be a great idea. If you turn them over, the government will give you 25% of their value. How so? Well, for turning in stolen goods. I didn't know that. Would you mind taking them into Campbell? Be glad to. Goodbye. He'd make a mighty fine son-in-law. Well, Daddy, it might be arranged. Sorry, Johnny. You done the best you could, Red. She sure surprised me. Yeah, women is kind of sudden like, ain't they? I wouldn't have had the nerve to ask her for myself no more than you did. Wish we both didn't like the same girl. Oh, that's all right, Red. Want to go to town with me? Sure. And we'll we'll have a little celebration. That's an idea. Come on. If the sheriff's at Aura Grande, let's go over to the cantina. I'd like to wet my whistle. I'd like to look around myself. Funny we ain't run into none of that Portis gang. Yeah, the less we see of them, the better we're off. Well, I have a snort of good old red eye. What do you have, Red? Oh, some good old aqua pura. We ain't got no fancy drinks. Well, then give us a little clean water, will you? There's to you, old-timer. May your biggest troubles be little ones. Idiot. <laughs> you like your coffee? Oh, give me a cup of that coffee, Wing. Breen doesn't want that coffee, Wing. Take it away. And hey, what are you trying to do? Until you come through with those diamonds, there ain't gonna be no eating or drinking for you. And that goes. Now, 
Mr. Breen, you will talk. Joe's been waiting for a chance like this. Madden tells me that you have the diamonds, that you double cross us. Listen, Joe, we've been friends for a long time. I've always played square with you, haven't I? Sure, you're a fine man, Mr. Breen, but tell your good friend where the diamonds are so he won't have to hurt you. I don't know where they are. That redhead threw them out the window, and when I got outside, they disappeared. where they go? Someone at Maxwell's got them. I saw a figure disappear around the house when I came out the window. Why didn't he tell us that before? Maybe he forget. I'll go back there tonight and get him. Oh, no, no, no. Why will go? You might get hurt. You stay here tied nice and tight, huh? I'll take Berg and Kelsey with me. And we will raid the ranch at Del Rosa. We will get Slade, the redhead, the money and the diamonds. And we will all have a good time, huh? All but you. You will stay here and hang for the murder of Sam. Well, adios. How's crime, Sheriff? Hey, man. Oh, yeah? Look at this. Diamonds. Yeah, what do you think they were? Canned corn? Where'd they come from? Across the border. Smuggled? Sure. Remember that horse and saddle I won off of Joe Portis? Yeah. Well, he just finished winning off of Del Harper with a six-year-old. You mean Portis killed Harper? Sure. And that's a saddle I won off of Portis. I was riding it up the Rodeo the other day. The bucking horse fell and busted the saddle horn. And here they are. What'll I do with them? That's your worry. If I were you, I'd turn them into the revenue. You know you'll get a reward of one-fourth the value of these stones? Oh, sure. Come on, Johnny, it's past your bedtime. Getting late. I hope nothing's happened to Red and Johnny. You know how Johnny is. When he gets to town, he just wants to stay there. <laughs> Think I'm lost? Chola! Did Solomon come back with you? No, he insists upon staying at the cabin. Says he didn't want to drag your father into trouble. Oh, if we could only clear him of that terrible murder charge. Now we work quick. Don't shoot unless we have to. And don't kill the redhead or slave. Them I want alive. Savvy? A race is to the ranch, Johnny. You're on. Come on. That must be the boys. I'll let them in. Of your reach. I sent him to the sheriff at Sycamora. You tried to make a joke with me, Maxwell? But I know how to make you tell a different story. Take him out. If I had you weaving, get on the horse. 
I can't find the redhead. He don't seem to be around. Well, don't you come back to the ranch until you do find him. See a light in the window over there. Uh, I guess I better go over and tell Maxwell what we've done. I'll take care of the horses. Hello, Silver. 